Hey guys, I'm Struxton here. This is going to be the new series of Swagginess on Timeless PvP Episode 1. And you guys have probably been waiting for this. I, I don't even know if you have, but you probably will because I'm so swag. So, um, yeah, it's swag. And we're going to make this new video. So this is going to be Episode 1 of Timeless PvP. This series is going to be starring MVP9. Uh, Jordy's going to hop on with me sometimes. Um, Mateo, or Clumsy Cat, is going to be there, and Edit the World, so you should go sub to all of their channels, because they have channels too, um, me, Jordy, and Mateo, slash Clumsy Cat, are the ones who have the channels mostly right now, so we've, like, we've been starting for a while, and they're just, like, I know, um, Edit the World, he is just trying to get a recording software, I think, so, um, that's what we, that's what he's doing, so you should go sub to him while he tries to find one. And then, Nolan, um, I don't know, I don't know about Nolan. I know he has a YouTube channel, I don't know if he's, I, I think he's gonna be posting videos, um, I don't know what's going on with him. I'm assuming they're probably both trying to get recording softwares. And you can see my epic parkour skills here. Them parkour skills. So anyway... Um, so this, whoa. You're not supposed to be able to get down here. Okay. Well, I am down here now. So, um, I'm just going to start, um, showing you around hub a little bit before we start the season. Basically, what, uh, I can't really show you around hub anyway. So let's just hop right into factions. Downloading terrain. Downloading the swag. Oh, GG right off the bat. Right off the bat. Big GG right there. Let me just make sure no one's by me. Okay, so I have not started very much of this so far. Because I've been playing for a couple months, but I haven't really gotten anything that good. As you can see, I am the head of a big faction with about 84 people. Derp, edit the world. Um, NDK9 is the co-leader. And then there is, uh, Clumsy Cat is in here, but we were, we were PvPing, so I had to kick him out of the faction, so we could PvP together. But you can't hit people in your own faction. We got all these swaggy guys. All these guys, Master Minium, the boss, Dacrius, MLG. I'm just gonna go see if this guy is on that I just raided, not that. Um, Isolation. Deathstro. Deathstro is like the ultimate jag. He sucks. I don't like him. He said like we couldn't raid him, and then I just went and raided him, and I ripped him so hard. I'm just gonna go to the F base. I'm just gonna show you all the stuff. I got a little bit of gear, you know, nothing much. I'll go show you that again later. This is the faction base. It's not very big because I mean, we only have like a, I have a hundred k, but I got like all of it from a common Ingram. It, which is the new things on the server instead of the like the chests in the war zone they are chests but they show up and they're called care packages and you can get really good stuff from them and oh someone left the faction and you can see there is a new rank called elder that is the best rank on the server i don't know if i'm going to get that because it is kind of really op i don't know if there would be a point to playing with that so um as you can see not a lot of people like throwing their stuff in here but there's some stuff in here. I'm just gonna go do some recruiting really quickly. You know, I always gotta recruit. This is I'm showing you what I usually do. Recruiting for psychotic slash um it's open. Fact is open. Fact is for faction. Fact is open, so join now before we close it. Well, we close it. No invite needed. Recruiting for psychotic or fact is open, so join now before we close it. No invite needed. Oh, Stewie! Yo! Recording! Episode one. Hype! This is just the hype base. Um, 
I'm just gonna um, do some stuff. Because they don't know. This is just basically what I do on a daily basis. I go on and recruit people. Do lots of stuff. You gotta recruit daily so people so you still have a big faction. Because people end up leaving a lot. Oh yeah, and I decapitated Longbow. That's pretty much one of the only things I have actually done so far. It's like amazing. I can show you that I can show you oh just pickles. I already invited you and it's open. No, I'm not gonna give you officer. I say that I'm not gonna give you officer, obviously. Um so I have Longbow's head. So that is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna um flash F This is basically what I do. And yeah. So I am just working on me recording, but yes, I'm gonna ignore these guys for now. Usually I would uh, I would talk to these guys and I would tell them that I can't give them stuff unless they stay in the faction for a little bit then if they're ballers I might give them stuff. Oh, Clumsy Cat is in the faction. I forgot to promote him. F promote Clumsy Cat. Clumsy underscore cat underscore real. There you go. He is awesome now. Um, yeah, I thought I King Alpha is actually really baller. He's probably one of the most original guys. I'm gonna show off my homes, basically just what I've done. Um, pot base. I I made a base for me and Jordy can share. I might delete it though. Oh, the pot base got raided a while ago. Yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I can't. Oh, I'm stuck. Yep. Nope. Yep. Oh. Yep. 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 Yep, that's pr probably not good. Probably shouldn't lag like that. We used to have crap tons of pots in here, but I just forgot that it got raided, so I might have to delete that home. But yeah, this got raided. I'm gonna promote King Alpha, because he's a baller. I am going to be a baller and look at all this pop base. This, is, this was our pop base. Um, I'm just going to announce that I'm recording. So I am recording. So please stop spamming me. Okay, so now they know, now they know. And there's a new feature, slash shop, you can go in here, look, you can buy all this stuff. Of course, you click on dyes, you can buy dyes, you know. It's just, it's the simple shop. If you want to sell stuff, you can go in here. Say I want to sell this two dirt, go in here, and then I hit escape. And you have earned one dollar from selling the dirt. Or you can just do slash sell hand, and then you can also sell the items. So see, I did sell hand, and it sold the, the stuff on my hand. How much is a dandelion worth? The dandelion is worth $1.56. As you can see, I have $111, but I mean 111k. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm just derp. So I'm going to go was kicked from the to server. my mine base. This was also raided. Actually, no, I might as not even not even go there. This is my nether vault. This is my main base. This is where I started off the video. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I got some Elder Gear. Elder Gear has really good stuff on it. As you can see, Fear and Fire, as it says in the boots. Um, they're CE enchants like that. And they're really good boots. Like, they're really good um, enchants. They've added a bunch of new enchants. So, you can... Um, if you come online to Timeless PvP... 
you can see all of these enchants and you can look at all of them yourself. I, I'm just going to show you some of the main ones. I'm just going to show you a couple of them. Blade of the Trade, Mystical Blade, this is all there. It gives you random stuff. Um, form style, I'll just talk for you to Chrono. That's GG. He's like really good. Um, Godly Guard, it's from Exotic Engram. This house is exotic and stuff. This is like the Engrams you can get it from. And later, maybe if in this video, uh, if we come across um, a care package drop thing, I'll show you about that. It's basically, um, this is just kind of, you know, just showing you around, showing you the new stuff on this new series. It's going to be a daily series, not a daily series, because I can't post daily because I'm a pleb. But this is going to be um, a very a series that I'm going to post very often. More often than any of my other things, probably. I know you guys want escapists and stuff, but, you know, you can't, you can't do everything. I mean, you can do everything, but you can't in my life. I'm a club, because I'm really busy. But anyway, I'm just going to say GG, because I'm, I'm, I mean, you know, i got to be nice. GG, warm. See, a lot of, I probably have, like, you know, $25 cryptic combo. Look at that, look at that swag master. Um, we are pretty baller, so, yeah. That's pretty much all my homes. I have some raids. I'll go on to show you this raid that we just raided. We just raided this base. We had to make a little, um, a little thing. Buy a scrub cannon, get wrecked boy. He 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 he. You suck. No man, not gonna promote you if you ask me to promote you, because that just means that you just wanna be plub. Get wrecked by psychotic. Um so we raided the base. We actually it wasn't this cannon. It was like a there's like there was sand here, there was stuff here, and there was dispensers all the way here. And it's actually a really good cannon. Me and NDK9, um, we designed it. So we basically just wrecked into this base. Obviously, our cannon was like over here, but we had to move it in more into the center because we found that we were TNTing over here and we just were missing. We were firing over there and stuff, so we moved our cannon. And we finally got in here, and we also got in, I think, I think we originally got in like down here or something. I think they might have patched it up. Okay, no, we didn't get in on these things. We got in somewhere else. We got in, we originally saw that we got in up here. We, got, we, we came in up here. And then we went down here and we ender pearled down into here. I don't know why we didn't see that, but we went in through here. That's where we went into the base. So yeah, we raided the space. This was isolation. This is where we made our base. This is where we made our cannon, I guess. But we just wanted to protect our cannon because there's people flying around here. And we didn't want to get wrecked if people tried to, like, just come onto our cannon and just rip us. So we built a little thing around it. As any good faction who is raiding would. And so, yeah, we raided that base. So get wrecked by them. They were like, yo, you couldn't raid our base. And, like, you couldn't raid anything. You're just a scrub. So I'm like, here, hmm. I, I doubt, I bet your base is going to be raided by tomorrow night. So that night we raided the base. And I haven't seen him since. So I think he kind of rage quit. Because he was trying to be mean to me. But you know. You got to stand up for yourself. So I just raided his base. Wasn't just me raided his base. Me and K9 and Jordy. But yeah. And Clumsy Cow was there. So basically this, this is just going to intro to the server. Because I can't really do anything right now. Because I mean I have to explain everything obviously. Because it's a new series. So you gotta explain everything. So, um, lots of new stuff. I'll tell you the commands. You can look at those, pause the video if you wanna see those. Just all the boring stuff in the first episode. <sighs> all the boring stuff. Instead of slash workbench, you do slash craft. So yeah. And then with the kit, you get, um, let me just make sure I have an inventory where I can actually do this. 
Oh no, no, my inventory is full, so I dropped these boots. So with Kit Time Lord, which is my rank, you get a full set of P4 Unbreaking 3, and then you get Feather Falling 4 on your boots, of course. You get two sets of those, actually. And then you get that shovel, that pickaxe, I mean that um, axe, that pickaxe, and a pretty dope bow. I think that's a maxed bow, unless you can put CE on it, which is, uh, yeah. So that's a maxed vanilla bow. I just wear Time Lord armor. And yeah, that's pretty much Kit Time Lord. You also get Kit Iron and Kit Diamond, which just gives you 8 diamonds and 16 iron, I believe. I have a bunch of obby on me, just because I do. And I was going to make a new base, and I think I am. So I'm going to slash wild out of here. That's also a new command. You slash near. Let's just tell you if anyone's near you. Sometimes I just go slash near and I try to find the guy and I just kill him. Just because, why not, you know. Nothing else to do. And I just happen to be stuck. Sometimes there's little chunks like that where you just get stuck. Uh, oh, cryptic combo. I am going to leave right now. I am going to leave right now. I do not want to be my cryptic combo. He is a very good person, which I do not want to be by. So I'm going to fly as far away as I can from him because I do not like him. Because he is very good, as I've already said, at factions. And he has a lot of, um, like, allies and stuff that are very powerful. So that kind of almost just gave me a heart attack there. That kind of scared me. There are so many new factions. Like, you can never find a spot where there's, like, no one anymore, it seems like. I'm going to go to the F base. Maybe I'll just break out of the F base and build over there. There's King Alpha, just snipe him. Maybe I shouldn't because there's someone in here. Or should I? You know, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to do such wild again. Or I'm going to just go to the nether. I'm just going to spawn, show off spawn, you know. Wait for the slash wild to be able to happen again. When I do slash RS, just the care packages, this is going to be a kind of boring video, so if you want, you can end up skipping to the next video, because the next video, we're actually going to be doing a lot of stuff. This is, this, the first episode is always for me, just kind of showing you around, you know, stuff like that. So this is the hub. There's someone up here. I just want to see who this is. Bailster. Okay. Well, GG Bailster. Okay, so Rubik's, if you have Engrams that you get from the care packages in the war zone, you can decode them and get like a slot roll thing where you can get lots of really good stuff. You can go to the quests to do quests. I haven't done any of these things. But and then you can also go here and sell stuff. Or you can just go slash shop or slash sell hand. I don't know why you go to spawn to sell stuff like this, but you know, I guess if you that floats your boat, then that's what you're gonna do. Whatever you want to do, I don't know why you would go over here, because it's kind of a waste of time to go to spawn and then to do this. But, I don't know, if you want to do it, you you can do it. Like, it's not stopping you. There's no wilderness portal, you have to do slash wild now. So, that is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what else I can show you while I'm waiting for slash wild to work again. Maybe, is there any home that I can teleport to? I'm going to teleport to my acro farm. I'm going to teleport to my acro farm. It's not just my acro farm. It's a lot of people's acro farms. We tried to make it look old and raided. Just because we didn't want people to, like, destroy it. So we just wanted to make it look old and raided. For some reason, I don't know. We just wanted to. Don't question. Just, just don't question it. You have to be on off slash fly to actually... Acro farm to work. Yeah, we tried to make it look old and raided. See, acrobatics. It 
so you don't know what that is, part of MCMMO. That's going to take a while to explain, so I'm just not going to explain that, because that would take a really long time to explain. So I'm just going to acro farm this up. This is basically what I do on a daily basis. Just grind, acro, you know, just grind, do care packages, do raids, you know, stuff like that. Send to butts. I'm going to try to get away from them because I'm going to build my base over here. Because that's what I'm going to do in this episode that's actually productive. Oh, Trap Nation is baller. Trap Nation is our um, truce. They're, they're really good. Just got a little bit of server lag. You know, it happens all the time. I'm going to make an actual, like, protected base here. I make a lot of bases. You know, it's hard not to make a lot of bases. So this is basically what I do on a daily basis. Um, I've already said that. Yeah, you know, just YOLO. I'm going to make this this high, I guess. I don't really feel like building it any higher. So this is going to be a base that I made that it's going to be mine. Um, so it's not going to be a big base. You can see the acro farm from here. Wow, just amazing. It looks so swag. The acro farm is just the best thing you've ever seen in your life, I bet. slash near make sure no one like comes up on me sets their home in my base and then I have to make a new one this is going to be the side this is gonna be like a vault it's gonna be like a super protected vault I guess I'm gonna make it two more wide because I placed that block there okay so it's going to be this big and it's going to be this tall And I'm gonna make like regen walls around this and stuff. I I also make might make a series on like factions. I know this is gonna be a series on factions, but let me just explain what I'm trying to say here. Um, like you know how to build a regen wall, how to build a cannon, how to build a hybrid, how to build like you know how to build factions, how to build a faction base, how to build like you know stuff like that. I find that a lot of people, I don't understand, how they have like slabs on top of their roof, and they have slabs all around their base, but slabs, whoa, I accidentally hit tab, um, slabs make it so there's an air pocket in between the slabs, so it does break sand, which is good, but it also provides an air pocket, so if you put TNT onto a slab, It'll blow up that slab and it'll blow up it will blow up around that slab. So it provides an air pocket so you can easily if it's like right beside your base, if you just have an obby base and you have slabs on the roof, if they put if they say I have a slab here and there's water on top of this, if they put uh, TNT on that slab, it can just blow up this obby. So it's a really easy way to get into the base. So if you see that try to do that try to like like break into that base like that because that's a really easy way to break into a base and um so yeah that's why i don't understand about slabs it's good for like trenches if you have a base and you have like a trench all the way down there and at the very bottom you have slabs so if they hit the sand on here it falls down breaks the slabs that's good that's a very efficient tactic but um yeah so um what else? What else can I talk about while I'm building this base? You know, it's hard It's hard to commentate when you're building. So you gotta like talk and think about building at the same time. It's kinda hard, but you gotta get used to it if you wanna be a good YouTuber. So, you know, you guys should subscribe, you know, check out Clumsy Cat, Jordy, all stuff like that. You know, you should be swag. Guys, I need good editing softwares to edit videos tell me about that because I want to know about that 
I'm going to set my home in here, like set home vault. Um, so yeah, if you guys know about any good, like, you know, editing softwares, because I kind of need those. Because I don't really have any good editing softwares, except for iMovie, which I find is kind of hard to edit on. And I don't really understand how to edit on it yet. So if you guys could, like, tell me, like, you know, non-spams, non-payment. So I don't have to pay, like, a hundred dollars, like, for Sony Vegas so I can edit a video. You know, like, free editing softwares, scam-free. I'll, if I'm gonna do it, I would have to make sure it's scam free, so you'd have to provide me some kind of proof to make sure it's scam free, because I do not want my computer to get scams on it, as all of you guys do. Some people just download things, and they don't really, like, they don't, like, read all the fine print and stuff, but I'm that kind of person that does do all that. So I need proof to make sure it's not scam because I have a MacBook Pro and they do not really want my like $2,000 MacBook Pro to get scams on it and to get like hacked and stuff. So I would have to make sure it's like scam slash um, hack proof. And I got Preston Plays text back. You know, I just think it looks nice. It just looks pretty swag. I don't know. I like it. If you guys want me to do any other series, that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, tell me in the comments. Gonna buy some more obby. It's a lot of obby. I think I dropped some on the ground. Oh well. I don't really feel like going and getting that. I don't really have a, like, a good money source yet. Except for rating. So, if you guys, wait, if you, if you know of any really good money sources, except for selling gear, and, um, raiding, and, of course, spawners, because we don't have enough money to buy good spawners yet, because they're really expensive, and we haven't really found anyone, but if you know any good, like, money sources, easy, good, cheap money sources, then tell me about that. And, yeah, because I really need a good money source that's really easy and reliable. Because I don't really have one right now. I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> Except I get lots of my money from Engrams and Warzone chests. So that's pretty much my money source right now, which isn't very reliable. And, yeah. So if you want to join our faction and come play with us, then our faction's name is Psychotic. We are on the Apocalypse Realm, and yeah, pretty much, we're on Apocalypse, if you want to come join us, just, it's an open faction, anyone can join, no invites needed, but try, if you have negative power, so if you die a lot in the wilderness, then we will probably kick you out of the faction, because then every now and then we do F status checks, and if you have, you know, negative power, so you're negativing your neg your negative your power, obviously. So if you're making our power less, then we will kick you from the faction, most likely. Unless you're like a baller and we really like you. So yeah. So come join us. Apocalypse Realm. Timeless PvP. I will put the link in the description to uh, not the link. The IP. Oh my god, we're fail. I don't think I'll have enough time to go to the Warzone care package drop. So maybe we'll do that in the next episode. It's in one minute, but I don't have enough time to deposit everything. And get all of them. Because there is like 200 people? 300 people on the server right now? Which is almost max? So, yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. So I'm not going to do it, because it's just kind of kind of waste my time. So, care packages are really good. But if there's a lot of people online, then it's kind of hard to get them, as you can know, because that's just logic. It's just logic, bro. Do you, do, you even lo do you even life, bro? Like, do you even life? It's kind of easy, bro. Like, it's 90 total care packages like you in life 90 times 5,000 equals 21 or something like I don't know do you in life like 
just scrub. Anyway, do a base check, make sure there's no holes in the base. Make sure there's no holes in the base. Got all my Time Lord gear. Got all my swag. Just double check I didn't drop anything. Yeah, got all my swag. Um, I'm going to go back to my... Actually, I need to set a home on top of here. Don't please mind the chat, because I see how there is lots of um, people who are swearing on Timeless. Vault Top. That's going to be my fat. That's going to be the name of the home. I don't want to have to break out of my base every time to edit my home. What what happened? Someone's everyone's spamming GG. Oh firework! Oh dude, legendary chest. Oh, I, I'm so jealous. I really want one of those. Buckets are key. Home vault top. That's my new name, man. My name is vault top. My name is vault top. Um. Go get some water. This is how I build bases. Of course, this is just my base. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, no, not the buckets. Buckets are expensive. Don't let them drown. No. Buckets. Buckets. Come to me. Buckets come to me. No, did I just lose a bunch of buckets? I cry every time. I'm so sad. Buckets are my life. I can't lose them. No, I just lost a bunch of buckets. No. Not the buckets, no. Buckets are amazing. Why did I just drop like seven of them? How could I? I'm a devil. What, what have I done? Buckets, no. In, mem in, in memory of the buckets. We must, we must finish this base in the memory of the buckets. So sad. I think the buckets would want us to finish this base if they were here. If they were here, they would, they would want us to finish this, this base. I believe they would. They'd be like, yo, um, Iron Destruction, you should finish this base because you're a baller. That's exactly what they would say. So, you know, you gotta, gotta do what the buckets want. Can't trade the bucket master. Gotta fill every one of these with water. And if you don't know why I'm not fill why I'm filling this with water, then you should probably go search that up because that is a very important part of factions if you don't put water on your stuff then you're going to get raided so um yeah you if you don't know then you probably shouldn't be playing factions you should probably research a little bit because this is a very crucial part of factions putting water on your base or lava depends what kind of guy you are or girl if you like lava, you put lava. If you like water, you put water. Most people put water because you it's easier. You don't have to like drink a fire res pot every time you want to edit your base. You just pick up the water. So water is most common on bases. Now I have to fill the bottom before I forget. This is a crucial part of factions too where a lot of people forget to fill the bottom of their base with water so people can just TNT cannon under your base and get it really easily if you don't have water on the bottom and it's probably one of the most annoying parts of ba base making sorry is filling your base with water except it has to be done and especially on the bottom because it's really annoying to fill the bottom of your base with water. Tea time, day.
I gotta stay in this crack of sunlight so I can see where the holes are, where the water holes are. Okay, the whole base is full of water now. Now we just have to fill the pillars, like the, the walls with water. Now we have to fill the actual walls. Put the actual walls full of water. Skip every two or three or whatever it is. I don't even know, because I'm just so amazing. Um, so this is factions. This is basically what you do a lot in factions. This is what I do off camera. This is what I'm going to be doing off camera a lot. And there's going to be a lot of off camera stuff in this series. Because I don't really feel like recording every single thing I do on factions. Because I really like to play this server on my own. It's probably my favorite server to play on, honestly. Like, actually 100%, never mind. It is 100% my favorite server to just play on. So some of this is going to be off-camera. Hopefully you guys don't rage at me, so because it's off-camera. But there is going to be a lot of stuff off-camera. And there's an auction house now. Mm. This is creeper egg for five... That's... Oh my god, 32 segs for 100k. That's a lot of segs. That is a lot of creeper eggs, right there. Are these books at a good price? 10k? 1k for flame one? You know, I'll buy that. Wait, 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 let me just make sure it's 1k. Yeah, okay, I, I did read it right. Flame for 500? You know, I'll buy it. It's 33 coal. You know, 33 coal is just the only coal you'll ever want in your life. It's the only thing I ever want. I only ever wanted coal, man. Like, it's all, it's like, who doesn't want coal? Christmas is coming up, guys. How are you excited for Christmas? I should have mentioned that earlier. Starting this, like, really close to Christmas. That's swag. How you guys, are you guys ready for Christmas, man? 2015 Christmas? It's the best Christmas of Buddy the year. Joined your it's channel. best Christmas. Hey, yo, what's up, dog? Hey, dog. What's up? Yo, I'm recording a video, episode one, time with PvP, homie. Okay, I'm coming on. Yeah, man, you gotta join me. This is just kind of a boring video, because I'm just making a base and stuff, but you know? I'm just, like, showing them around, showing them what factions is like. You know, the usual. I'm gonna record a bunch of videos today. Hey, meet me at spawn. Meet me at spawn. Go to spawn? I need to show you. Yeah, I need to show you something I found. Okay. Ugly. I'm at spawn. Okay, I'm at spawn. Okay. Where I'm loading up my Minecraft. Oh, why? Well, it's what? not. MJ4 is <laughs> Iron Swords, though. It's amazing. Exotic so Ingram and AH. Oh my god, that 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 is such a fake. That is a fake. You know what? Some guy's like, oh my god, no, exotic Ingram and AH. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got a Ingram and AH. Oh my god. Whoa. So fake, man. Slow and slow. That is such a fake. Exotic Ingram. Yo. Swag. I don't know why everything's so laggy on my. Okay. But. I might end the video once you get on, and I'm gonna start recording episode two of Timeless PvP. <laughs> so, once okay. you get on, Learn. I'll, sh I'll show you the swag. I was making a base for both of us, but it got raided, so I'm gonna have to delete the home. So, just so you know, I was making a base for both of us, and it was hey, gonna be a surprise. Oh, Jordan! No, you got Elder! Woo! Partay, man! Good job! You got Elder! 
You got Elder. I'm only a Time Lord. Yeah, man. Swag. You got Elder? You got Elder, yeah. dude? Yeah, last night. You got it last night? Oh, so cool, man. Where'd you go? Oh, dude, wait, no, stop, stop, don't go, don't hop in. I want to end the video with you. I want to end, I want to end the video. I want to end the video. Okay, guys, so, you know, I'm just going to end the video here with the Jordy Bren, the 21, the swag master, the ultimate master of all swag. And, uh, done for episode one. Tomorrow, ep the next episode is going to be amazing. So, yeah, goodbye, guys. Okay, I ended the video, hopefully. <laughs> goodbye. Okay, end the video. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna make the video too. No, I didn't end the video. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. I'm just